All right, hello everybody. My name is Luis Cervantes Oropesa. I'm currently a senior at Portland State University, majoring in computer science, but enough about me. Let's get into this. All right, so today we're gonna to be learning, we're gonna be learning about the color sensor. So the color sensor is very useful in the sense that it reads colors, exactly what the name is. Now it doesn't get really much fancier than that. So let's get into this. All right, so from, so let's start. Okay, so first let's set up our motors. So I like to call them legs. So I'm gonna call it motor pair, and then C, and then the other one is in port D. Now then we're gonna set up the color sensor. So color, and then is equal, uh, can't type today. Color sensor, and then this one's a port A. So you guys can see right here, all the values are right here on the top and everything. So first, let me show you guys a quick little demo about the color sensor. So right here, we have blue and yellow. So I point to yellow, I point to the pants blue, then I point to something black, it goes black. Mm, doesn't really get much fancier than that. <laughs> just, just simple as that. So the very first function that I'm gonna be teaching you guys is the get color one. Cause I feel like this is probably the most important function in my opinion, as well um, the get red, get blue, get all of these other things, but it's not, I feel like the get color is more important. So when do color dot get underscore color. And then since we're calling the function, so we could actually do a value and just be like value, like a variable and just do value is equal to, this returns a string. However, we're fancy, we're better than that guys. So when I do if get color is equal to um, yellow, um, apparently I can spell yellow today. Then I want the motors to move. Man, stop. Move. What? That was scary. <laughs> okay. So, and then, so now that we have that, we're gonna do, we're gonna make it move for three seconds. So we're gonna make it move for three seconds. So now what this is gonna do is gonna be like, hey, is it yellow, is it not yellow? So it's gonna be constantly picking up the colors. So in order to be doing that, we need to choose. So we need a while true. So what this is gonna be doing is that um, this is gonna, this is an infinite loop. So it's constantly gonna be looping, checking for the color. And once it's true, it's gonna execute it. So let's start it. So, okay. So I compile. So now as you guys can see, oh, wasn't even yellow, but let's go. So as you guys see, it's pointing to yellow, then it's pointing to white, so it's not doing anything, but I'll point to yellow again. Then I'll point to blue, it's not doing anything, then I'll point to yellow. So you guys see, it does work. I don't know what happened in the beginning, there was, there was a glitch. <laughs> so now that we have that working, so now we could actually go, for example, you could also do blue. So I can actually show you guys the blue. Um, the blue. So sadly, I can't pick up the robot at the same time because I have to keep it connected. But actually, no, I don't have to keep it connected. Let me just download it. Okay. Okay. So now that we have that, so we guys can see right here the the color sensor. So I'm gonna point it to blue. It moves. I point it to yellow. Does do not. It doesn't do anything. I point it to blue. And then it goes. So you guys could actually hear it through the mic. But you guys can't see because I have to go like this, but just, <laughs> just know that it's working. You go, oh, as well, I could show it to you guys right here. So blue right here, then I'm gonna go to white, nothing. But I'm gonna go to blue again. Uh, because the thing with this is kind of weird because it's kind of like, depending on the lighting, either catches or doesn't catch it. So, because it's not really blue, it's more like kind of like a baby blue. So let's get into this. Okay, so that's just pretty much how it is. So another another thing that you guys could actually do is um, so right now we're gonna keep the loop. Then we're gonna do get red. Then we're gonna do get blue actually. So get blue, it actually just returns a value between zero and a thousand and twenty four, I believe. So it's just kind of the intensity of the blue. So what this is gonna be doing, it's gonna be returning the value. So we're gonna say is greater than mm, 500 let's say let's go with 10 to 500 let me connect the robot let's go with it's greater than 
Actually, let's say let's say it's less than two hundred. Because let's see, because this black is, is, let's see, does it does it calculate? So yeah, it, <laughs> see, I saw it, it was reading blue and it just went crazy. <laughs> Let me stop this. Shouldn't be running. Okay, so now that we have that, so I'm like, okay, if get color is less than 200, I wanted to do something. This is kind of hard to tell because I don't really know much about the color intensity, just where to point it, just kind of, it's, it's very difficult in that sense because I don't really know the intensity of the color itself that I'm pointing to right now. So, but it's very complicated. Um, let me just connect that. Okay, we're back in session. <laughs> So I don't know, sometimes, sometimes that just shows up when it doesn't need the update. Okay, so now we're gonna do that and then we're gonna do legs dot move and then three seconds because we're gonna make it move for three seconds. Um, all right, sorry about that. It was, just had to update it. Okay. So now, right now, what this is gonna do is like, it's gonna get the intensity, is it less than 200? Then yes, then it's gonna go for three seconds. So this is kind of hard to tell because I don't know if it's gonna go or not because, um, why is it not going? Let's upload it. Okay, so it is less than 200 right now. So let's put in the robot right. So as you guys see, when it's actually pointing to blue, it's not actually, when it's pointing to blue, it doesn't go. But as soon as I let it go, it's less than 200. So the more blue it is, the more it goes. But nevertheless, it works. Shows you guys the statement. So now we could do actually greater than 800. Um, this shouldn't be going. It should just stay relaxed, going based on the data we just collected. So as you guys see, it's not moving. It's not doing anything. So now let me point it to the blue. So apparently it is not greater than 800, huh? So you kind of just have to be messing around with the intensity of the of the color. So, but as you guys can see, it does work. It does, the concept is there, everything. As well, the red, get green, get red, all of that is still there. As well, um, another thing that we could use, so instead of having this, so we could have while true, and then starting having this if statement, we're technically still gonna need an if statement, but, so we could do a color, actually, let me get this line of code right here. So I don't have to write it again. So we could do color dot weight underscore four. Wait until color. So what this is gonna do, so right here, I'm gonna catch the value. So for example, value is equal to and then so what this is gonna do is that it's gonna wait until the color and then if that color is so for example I could do if mm, value is equal to to blue then I wanted to do something and then so I mentioned I'm gonna do this so let's get into this this should work if everything's well <laughs> okay so as you guys see, it's not it's not doing anything because it has to wait for the color blue. So until it comes, uh, whoa, this is weird. Why is it? Um, and another way that you guys could also check when things don't go as well. It's like okay, what am I what am I doing wrong? You could go here. Oh, I forgot to change for blue. <laughs> okay, so that's that's completely my bad right there. Okay, so right now it shouldn't be moving at all. So as you guys see, but then once I place it in blue, uh, blue doesn't like this blue. So let's go to this blue. The code's actually not running. Um, all right, so let's actually test this now. So we're gonna go. So as you guys see, it shouldn't actually be moving once it actually uploads to the code. Okay, 
So, as you guys see, it's not actually moving at all, the robot. So I'm gonna hang it from here, just so that you guys can see the my bad for the wires. Hopefully you guys have better wire management. I'll place it and then it goes. So now I'm gonna stop. And I'll place it again. It's gonna go. So it's, so it's exactly as the get color, uh, except in a very much more fancier way. As well, you could also do wait for new color, which would is like okay, you're at green and then it goes to blue and then it goes. So it's essentially the same thing. So you could do wait. Um, for underscore new color so I've, okay and then so this is gonna do so I'm gonna play it it shouldn't move because this should be receiving the same value which is nothing okay okay let's just get the jitters out of it okay now it's gonna go to blue you guys see? Yes, here it's lying on my desk because it, it changed colors. You know? It's just really hard to show you guys because the camera just... The, the, the room. Okay. But that's just pretty much how you guys can do it as well. Get ambient light. So all that does, it returns a value and you're like, okay. It's between the range of this value and this value, also reflective. It's the same thing as everything else. So I really hope that this video was useful. I hope that it was... It made sense. I know it's something kind of, I know there was errors along the way and kind of just issues, just something with my system, just kind of stuff like that. So I really hope that this video was useful, that you guys really liked it and don't forget to like.